on this little path cut around a national monument. trail and this is pretty pretty cool I might say Grand View this must be one of the hidden gems of the American Southwest as a landscape photographer I always seek out the most stunning vistas and the most unique features of nature, and this place has plenty of both. There's a fee to enter the park, but trust me, it's worth every penny. The drive takes about an hour, with stops along the way to marvel the beauty of Monument Canyon. I was on my way to Arches National Park in Utah, and was sure glad I took the time to take Rimrock Drive here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Here I take you behind the scenes as I capture photos of one of the stops Grand View. Independence Monument is one of the iconic features of the canyon. It's a tall, slender tower of red rock that stands out from the surrounding cliffs. The sunlight plays on its surface, creating shadows and highlights that change with time of day and the movement of the clouds. Here is a panoramic that I took by taking several shots and stitching them together. This monument was named in honor of the 4th of July, the Day of American Independence. It's a symbol of freedom and resilience, standing tall and proud against the forces of erosions and time. Here is another wonder of nature, the kissing couple. Can you see the two rock formations that look like they're leaning toward each other for a kiss? Try not to lose my hat in the wind. This video is taken from my Insta360 camera on the end of a long selfie stick. Here I thought it would be clever to extend it over the cliff. Even that made me nervous, and it was very short-lived. What's cool is you can edit the video after the fact and pan it in 360 degrees. And you don't have to think about it when you're shooting, you just carry the stick. As a landscape photographer, I'm always on the lookout for the perfect shot. I love to play with the light and the shadows capture the texture and patterns of the rocks. You can see here as I walk through this area capturing several different compositions of the same rock structures. I like to get out ahead of people and turn around and take pictures of them coming up.
one more look here at Independence Monument. As you can see it standing out there by itself in the middle. I think I took the wrong path back. So it's a little steeper than it should be, but uh, still work. But yeah, you might want to wear your hiking boots. I was just wearing tennis shoes, but. Well, I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of the Colorado National Monument and got inspired to explore the beauty of nature yourself. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep on exploring.